Hi, I'm Rob Zip. I'm at the Houston Zoo for Zoo Boo After Dark. It's Friday, October 11th, 2024. And I'm here with half of Houston. The other half are at the Miller Outdoor Theater. So just keep in mind, if you do, do come here for uh, Zoo Boo After Dark, you might have a hard time finding a place to park. I parked at the uh, Health Museum, the Children's Health Museum. Not, bad, not a bad walk, but um, I don't know. It's crazy today, guys. So join me and let's try to have the most epic adventures. I just met uh, one of the photographers here named Derek. He's got a gaming channel. So Derek, comment down below and everyone check out his channel. Okay, since he came up to me, he knew my channel. He's like, yeah, I saw your Birds of the World exhibit. Like, yeah, my mom, she couldn't make it today. <laughs> that was too hard when it was raining the last time I came here. So they're still doing construction over here. They're building a new restaurant. But Zubu after dark, only a few occasions this year, we will be able to do this. Um, it is on their website. But the same, some of the same lights that you'll see for zoo lights are up. One of my oldest videos on this channel, they used to do the zoo lights, they did music, and I did a slow-mo video. I love that video. Nobody watched it, but I, I'm gonna mention it almost every time. It's one of my favorite areas. So many people here. Well, the birds of the world, it's not raining, but it's not open for this event. Um, you won't be able to see a whole lot of animals, a lot of human animals. You can see these light up animals. So the light up flamingos and the autumnal leaves. Got some pumpkins back there. Again, some of these, some of this is gonna be the same for zoo lights. Um, just without the leaves and pumpkins, obviously. There's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Oh look, it's more singing pumpkins. They play the monster man. Even the light up bears have some pumpkins. Okay. What do you first? You have some giant carved pumpkins, foam pumpkins. Look at that red panda. It looks pretty happy to be in that pumpkin. Kids getting henna and face painting. Who's just getting face painting? This says henna there. I am shocked by how many people here. But this looks spooky. Got the orange lights and the little ghosts hanging down here. The haunted ghost town over here. Everybody loves these umbrellas. The wildlife carousel looks nice. I'm not gonna ride that today. I don't have the, uh, I didn't purchase the add-on for that. We got some pumpkins. Again, very similar to what they do for zoo lights for Christmas, but just more pumpkin-y stuff. Well, so many people. Kids say, I want to go on the carousel. His mom said, no, the line's too long. Fun little shadow boxes here. And then this is where they had, they recently had the, uh, the dinosaur exhibit. So there's the Zubu. That the whole zoo is the Zubu. That's the spooky forest, pardon me. The spooky forest. It's very, very spooky. Very spooky. It's very spooky how many people are here. Look at that. That's scary. Ah, spooky. I'm extra spooky. A 
I'd say this is a pretty metal event with all the skulls everywhere. That's why I dig it. That's why I dig the Halloween vibes. Look at all these uh, pumpkin lanterns here. That looks like a thumbnail picture there. This is what uh, this is what everybody's here for. This portion here, the spooky forest. It is. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty crowded. I'm trying to do weird angles, not, not so you can see my double chin, but just to keep as many people out of the shot as possible. That is pretty spooky. Why does that pumpkin have an eyeball? We're in the psychedelic part of the spooky forest now. Look at that elephant. Oh, it's a snake tunnel. What? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Trying to get out of people's pictures. What a, what a fun, what a fun snake. There's a lizard on the, yep, there's a lizard in there. There is a lizard in there. And then you exit and there's a little mini gift shop. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's sleepy. He looks real sleepy. Here's where the big cats usually are. They have the drapes down so they won't uh, they won't be bothered by us humans at night. But they got the hanging pumpkins. Plastic pumpkins. It's kind of a shame that those aren't lit up. That would be that'd look really cool if they were lit up. Oh well. Some of these are lit up. Those look cool, they got like little animals carved out of them. It's a cool sight. Right next to the tiger enclosure. Boo! Or boo! Or boo! What do you think guys? If you haven't done so, slap that like button. I hear if, uh, if I say that, it'll magically shine, so again, Hit the like button now, it really helps, and it's free. I'm gonna come back here for Zoo Lights um, in December. I'm not quite done yet here though. I'm almost done though. There's a line of people getting photos with the Zoo Boo sign. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wait in that line. We have a lot of these little fun little zones to set up fun pics with. Sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying not to film strangers and children so I'm making it real real quick real quick it's just it's hard there are so many people here probably the most look at that look at that coming out of the pumpkin the most people I've seen here in a very long time very long time which is great for the zoo great for the zoo the, I don't know if I said this already but at the Miller Outdoor Theater there is a bluegrass rap band performing. Not my thing at all. Russell might like that, Russell. They say, apparently that somebody told me that they did the theme song for Justified. Never saw Justified. <laughs> All kinds of animals coming out of these pumpkins. How do they fit? How do they fit? It's just, it's magic. It's magic. Look at the jack-o'-lantern tree. Everyone's getting pictures with it. Again, another line, but I got a picture of it for you. There you go. There is the best fountain that's around. The best pool slash fountain inflection pool with all the oak trees lining up. Everyone getting photos there. I love it. Sorry if you ended up in my video and you didn't want to be. 
I, I couldn't help it. I, I really try to keep people out as much as I can, but it's just impossible here today. Um, man, I've taken Disney World trips that were easier to f- <laughs> film than this. Uh, people are excited. People love the zoo, and they love the zoo boo. It's an annual tradition. So it's a great family event. So everyone has their strollers. You can hear them wheeling by. And here I am by myself. (laughs) Well, I'm with you. But physically here by myself. I do get an extra person to come in with me. That's what my uh, membership is a plus one membership. So when I come for Zoo Lights, if you'd like to join me, let me know. Or just if you just want to come anytime, my membership is good until the end of March. We'll see if I re- renew it. I probably will because I excuse me. I do like the reciprocal, like the reciprocity of other AZA institutions around the country that I can visit. Usually at half off, so it's worth it. It's totally worth it. And of course, we exit through the gift shop. Let's see if they have anything for Zubu. That Birds of the World stuff. This is new. Um, last time I was here was when they opened the exhibit. So they didn't have all the merchandise for it. I do like this. Flamingo shirt it says Houston Zoo on it. $60. I get a 10% discount. They don't have my size. That's not their fault. That's my fault. We have Galapagos Island stuff. We're playing Alice Cooper on the speaker. No Zubu, no Zubu merchandise. That's okay. I don't need anything, but it's still, it's nice to have, I guess. But. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me at the Houston Zoo, Zubu 2024 after dark. Um, yes, it's crowded. There's a lot of people around here, but you know, it's still worth it to come, especially if you're a member and support the zoo. Didn't see any live animals, just saw the, uh, in, you know, all the fake animals. But it's still fun. It's good for the family. You got the little ones. Take some cool pictures as you always remember. Tomorrow I will be at the Haunted Trails in Cyprus. On Sunday I'm going to the Texas Renaissance Festival out in uh, Todd Mission. Going to Disneyland to celebrate my birthday with my friend Leia. And uh, I have my whole itinerary on the community tab. So you can check that out um, and you can join me if you'd like in person. Um, Down here, I'm coming to the 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 Houston Museum of Natural Science Mixers and Elixirs Halloween party on the 26th. That's gonna be so much fun. Um, Going to the Meow Wolf Grand Opening on Halloween. And what else am I gonna do? going to a comic con in irving dallas fan festival and uh there's something else i'm missing i don't know i'm doing i'm doing a lot of stuff i might do i might add some more stuff to that too so if you're not subscribed subscribe you'll see all this great content if you are subscribed thank you from the bottom of my heart every like and comment helps if you share it that helps even more and uh can't do it without you guys so i'll uh, i'll see you tomorrow from the haunted trails in cyprus later